Yo, what's up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking John 64, and today I'm bringing you guys game number five of season two. Now, let me tell you something, guys. This game is pretty much strategic. I advanced strategically through the whole first drive and the rest of the game too. It's just the first drive pretty much, you know, set the tone towards the offense, and uh, you know, it was just amazing what I was doing. I mean, finally, my O line was blocking and. I was doing my thing. I was doing the thing that I was supposed to do the whole season. And, you know, it was working throughout this whole game. So, uh, keep an eye out on that. You know, Doug Martin is the key player in this game. Now, my opponent that I faced, guys, um, pretty much the most, uh, you know, the guy that pretty much stand out the most was DeMarcus Ware. And I believe some of the defensive, defensive tackles, I believe. But DeMarcus Ware was pretty much, you know, trying to get everywhere, but he's not that big of a deal. I usually just run down the middle. So that's why I was like, you know what, you, you, you do have a good, you know, linebacker, but I'm not going to run through the towards that side. I'm just going to run down the middle. So uh, that's pretty much what I did. As you can see, I'm just advancing little by little and also watch the clock, see how much time am I actually wasting. So that means, you know, I'm just taking over the whole drive. I'm, take, I'm taking over the whole first quarter and half of the second quarter. That's all I did. As you can see, more running plays. That's the good thing. You know, I finally face a guy who doesn't have a run stopping team. That's good. It's been a while. <laughs> So, so yeah, I mean, I was doing so good. Little passes, little runs, getting there strategically. Fourth and two. Our one was wide open. I knew he was going to be open. I saw the previous play that the flats were open, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw it to the flats. That's why I thought of Dwayne out at that point. And apparently my opponent wasn't playing smart either. I mean, he was forcing the blitz. And I was like, yeah, keep on doing that, bro. <laughs> I'll fake snap you the whole damn game. And that's what I like. You know, I like when people do that. Like, you know what? Yeah, try to rush in, but I'm going to fake snap you, bro. So I'm like five yards away from the Tesla, and yes, pretty much, square was open, but I pressed circle by accident. I know, most of you guys are going to be saying like, how the hell do you even pull that off? Like, how can you miss square? <laughs> yeah, I know. God damn it. Pretty much of a big mistake right there. That was a minor mistake, and, you know, I could have actually gone 7-0 at this point, but damn it, I messed up so badly in there. And uh, almost an interception by Taylor. And by the way, if you guys remember, I was supposed to start Sean Smith a long time ago. Is this it's just that uh, after that one play in game number four or number three, he got burned. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna play Sean Smith. I'm just gonna go back to Ike Taylor, who's six foot two, and for sure he's gonna perform a lot better. And goddamn, he did pretty well in this game. You able to see him a few times here and there with uh, Ike Taylor going around here and there. And right here, and I tried to pass with the tight end and hope for a miracle. And the kickoff, well, not the kickoff, the field goal, missed. God damn it, David Akers. And also, I picked up a new kicker, but damn. 94 kick partisan reached freaking, I don't know how many yards was that. Start of the second half. Trying to do his best on offense. Nobody open. Pasolai, the slowest player of the whole Man Ultimate Team roster, gets him. Pasolai only has like 46 speed or 56 speed. I'm not sure what common speed he has, but he's pretty darn slow with no acceleration. He has like 63 acceleration or something. He's slow as hell, man. And he still got it. He still got a sack. That fat blob got a sack. I'm amazed. Brandon Browner with the magical jump. That guy has moon shoes, man. He has like no gravity shoes. He jumps real high. Doug Martin with the clutch run. Beautiful. Almost out of the way. If I were to have a guy with like 96 speed, 95 speed, I would have gone another way. That's why I'm like, I should freaking collect Matt Forty at some point. <laughs> Somehow. So I don't know how the hell I'm gonna collect them cases because you needed like a like a few elite players and uh, so few more collectibles and you able to get them. Easy run down the middle with Chris Ivory. Beautiful. I'm going with that one-two punch that I mentioned a long time ago, guys. Uh, first, Dick Martin. Then, if I wanted to run down the middle with a lot more power, put in Chris Ivory. That's pretty much what I do. I can't ever do it with just one running back like so many people do it. Like, I, I just can't. Down the middle, throwing like a Hail Mary. What do you expect? Like a David Tyree catch or something? Hell no. Nah. So, it was picked off yet again. Third quarter, 26 seconds ago. What the hell is going to happen? Can he stop my offense? Can he stop him? Nope. I split the linebacker and T.Y. Hilton was wide open. Easy pass. Easy peasy. I'm not going to finish the whole phrase because it sounds pretty weird. Um, so yeah, pretty much the guy couldn't handle my offense. He's going to end up quitting. Yep. Quitter. So I'm 5-0 and in Man Ultimate Team. So subscribe for more guys. If you guys want to see more Man 15 Ultimate Team, Subscribe for more, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your favorite part, and subscribe here in ManAllStars.com.